Hey guys, it's Don here from Explore Overland. Uh, just installing the Hikit X9 throttle controller today on the Disco, so I uh, thought we'd give it a go and show you what it's like to install. It should be fairly simple, so here we go. So we have the uh, Disco 4 here. It's a 2015 SE model with the SDV6 V6 engine. Uh, we're going to just go under here, and basically, here is the throttle right there. And all I'm going to do is pull down on this section here in the middle, and that, as the, as you saw, just came straight off. Um, it's supposed to just flip down but I'm sure it will be fine it's just got some tabs here and here and holds on from there and from there so it's just a panel that comes off uh, as you can see there is some wiring inside there I'm hoping that basically the uh, uh, the wiring and the uh, switch should be able to come straight out of there no problems uh, but we will see it's not doesn't look like it's very easy to get to from down the bottom so uh, I'm hoping that it's fairly easy from here we'll see how we go okay now see that plug right there with the yellow on the plug that's just hanging down I have just unplugged that from the throttle position sensor um, male plug at the bottom. So this female plug is now hanging loose. And what I'm going to do is, because uh, I could just get my hand in there and that was it. So now I'm going to put in the throttle uh, controller, which I will be doing right here. Now I'll just take it out and show you move the drill out of the way and so this is the plugs here which goes in now this is the female plug that plugs into where I just took that plug out of and then that plug that I just took out will go into here this goes into where the this plug here uh, which goes into the controller itself and hopefully that should be it then just sticky it together and go from there so uh yeah basically the main thing was to get that plug taken out put that in there put the uh existing factory plug into that side and then plug this all up together okay so i'll plug the plugs in here and uh run the cord through the bottom here and it's just going through the clutch pedal hole at the moment. And then I'm going to plug in the Hikit control panel itself. And then hopefully it all works. And then I'll screw it all back together and place the Hikit controller uh, on the dash. Now, one thing with the Hikit controller, uh, it does come with 3M tape on the back. But I'm actually putting Velcro on there so I can take it off if I need to. Okay, so we've got the car going and the Hikit is all powered up. I might leave the car running for a few minutes and just get uh, it just learning what's going on. Everything looks to be okay at the moment is hopefully a good sign and obviously of course I'll make sure that the throttle works which it does so all is looking good so far okay so basically the car is all put back together again here is the Hikit X9 unit. I've put it up on the dash there. I'll take off the uh, protective cover on it very shortly. 
and uh, basically I've just got it running under there through the steering wheel column and then back through to where the throttle controller is so it's fairly straightforward install uh, there's no other velcro or double-sided tape or anything that I've used to uh, stick it on other than the velcro for the controller itself uh, the cord is just uh, routed through to the uh, wiring where the, the controller is and that's about it so it's a pretty clean uh, setup and uh, we'll see how it goes on the road all right so as you can see I have uh, just a normal sort of instrument cluster no issues the Hikert X9 and it is set to Sport 8 Auto now so the A is for Auto uh, the, uh, otherwise it is H for Manual uh, there's Sport Auto Hikert Mode Economy Mode and a few other modes involved um, I'm just going to leave it on what it came with as the default which is Sport 8 uh, the numbers go from 1 to 9 1 being the uh, least response and 9 being the most response so being Sport 8 I'd assume that it will be pretty good straight out of the box I notice a huge difference already uh, it is a big difference um, just touch your foot on the throttle and it goes. Okay, so basically the Hikert has been fully installed. Everything is going well. Uh, I've put it onto cruise mode uh, number 8 auto. Uh, everything is going fine here on the dash. Give it a bit of a rev and everything revs okay. Uh, I took it for a test drive and everything went fine. Um, just wanted to let you know that I took out a few things from the uh, below the dash here. Now, I just want to let you know that basically you don't need to do that. Um, you do need to take this part down, uh, but really all you need to take off is this bottom cover here. There are just two Phillips head bolts here and here, and that's about it. So uh, just take off this bottom cover. You can get your hand up in there, um, and there's the hole in here where I showed you before. Uh, and basically you can get everything done that way. You don't need to take any more screws out. I took uh, the screws out from in here, the bolts in here, um, and I took this side section off and to take that side section off I had to take this off and uh, it was all at the end of the day not really worth it um, I did get to fix a couple of uh, things that were loose in here so that was alright but you don't need to do it if you're just doing this install on a uh, Discovery 3 or 4 or LR3, LR4 uh, just take this cover off here and that's about it Okay, this has been the Hikert X9 throttle controller install video for our Discovery 4 2015 SE SDV6. Uh, so if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. Uh, if you like, uh, please subscribe and like our videos and uh, also share them around. Alright, thanks very much. We'll see you next time. Bye.